Alrighty then. Yeah, so this is George from Dream Shadow TV, and in this video, we'll look into some trading options with our cryptocurrencies and some Forex pair. Starting with Bitcoin. Before that, uh, if you have not uh, subscribed to this channel, please do so and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified for future content. All right. So without further ado, let's look at Bitcoin. So this is, uh, yeah, interval is one hour, so that's important to see. And we are now here. Bitcoin is at $10,618.114. If you look at their direction in the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 12 hours, the direction has been after this breach of the lower band of the Bollinger, which is important, at about 9 p.m. of October 6. Well, remember, this is not uh, um, GMT plus 8, all right? So this is uh, adjusted to the U.S. Uh, time frame. So after this, uh, 9 p.m. breach, then there's a green candle, which would signal uh, price moving up. But then since this is a breakout, look at the breakout. The shape of the Bollinger is going down. So the upward, so-called upward trend of the Bitcoin is not really upward, but uh, in a way, um, sidewards. The steepness or the slope of this upward movement is not that high. Because if you notice the Bollinger Bands, the upper band of the Bollinger went from this high from yay high about 10,820 to about 10,600 so with that we will see a price consolidation in the next couple hours uh, we will see um, may a brief touching of the bollinger uh, with this run up you will also already notice the red candle the last three candles red so there is some weakness so we can see that the uh, BTC will have to move down a bit but the most important thing is the price consolidation that this will uh you know uh, that bitcoin will go through right now rsi is at 47 so neutral um we have uh relatively uh, it's still in the bearish region but uh, we have a crossover about seven hours ago and uh, the, the crossover is bullish although we are still in the negative region so that's not really uh, saying anything because if you look at the ADX the sellers still outnumber the buyers and the trend is high at 24.12 so this confirmed trend still long term it's bearish you will notice this bearishness started from this point so that's about 24 hours ago and then this has gone down to this one all right so that's Bitcoin for you how about Ethereum? Alright, so here we are um, looking at Ethereum. Ethereum USD. There were one hour. Yes. So, as in the case of uh, Bitcoin, our uh, price movement now started 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. About 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, about 19, 20 hours ago. Ever since this uh, breach, of the lower band of the Bollinger. Again, as in the case of Bitcoin, it is uh, the price breakout was downward in nature. And if you look at the Bollinger band shape, has gone down, uh, the shape has uh, narrowed from this widening path, and the upper band moved down from gay high. Sorry, sorry about that. It's not from this side. Hmm about 400 maybe yeah and to about 342 so then you can see the price consolidation as it is now um, so this is already uh, an upward trend so to speak but then the upward trend range from 338 to 342 only so that's only uh, less than one percent of trend so this is really a sideways motion if you will look at it as in the case of Bitcoin, <coughs> uh, this is a move that aims to consolidate the price. The Bollinger Band is narrowing, and we will we'll go through some narrowing path here. 
RSI, so in the case of Bitcoin, also is neutral. We have also the same, uh, some crossover happening about 8, 9 hours ago. It's a bullish crossover, but still we are in the bearish region. A long term. So, this is really not saying much. It's just a move to go, you know, past the bearish region that we are in, right? This is also confirmed in the ADX where the sellers outnumber the buyers by so much, about 35 to 22. And we have a strong trend at 31. So as in the, as in the case of Bitcoin, we will see some more price consolidation. And the two red candles that happened in the past two hours is more or less an indication that there's weakness so it will it will not go down or lose some value but since it is on a price consolidation it will just move from about 340 to about 330 and it will go into price consolidation so if you want to enter into ethereum that and also bitcoin now is the proper time to do it um yeah so because this is a price consolidation and usually in a price consolidation stage you have only a uh, short range of prices now in the case of uh, Tether, USD, it's now at 1.007, up a bit, 0 0.0255. This red candle, uh, where it all started, I mean the move up, is about 29 hours ago. So after this uh, widening of the Bollinger Bands, the breakout is a bearish breakout. And this is a, it's a signal since it breached the lower band of the Bollinger that the next move would be a bullish move. But this bullishness is just from 1.0004 to 1.0009. So this is not really a bullish run but just a price consolidation which is upward in nature but still, you know, a bullish run in a way. So again, in the next couple of hours, we will see some more consolidation prices. This will still remain to be uh, narrow. The moving average, just the moving average, 200 days, 75 day. The the long term is below the uh, is above the medium term, which is above the short term. So the price is above the short term. So what is the what does that mean? We have a short term bullishness right as in the case of bitcoin and uh, ethereum that bullishness started here about seven hours ago when there's a crossover in the macd right followed by this long green candle so this move introduced a, a more or less um short-term bull run but we are still not out of the bearish region the RSI is still in the neutral region. If you look at ADX, we have the seller still outnumbering the buyers, so it's still bearish. But the trend line is at 40, so which means that uh, this is not really uh, a trend. This is just a ranging position. So this confirms that the price is going through some consolidation. All right. So long term, where, where are we at? So we are still we are we have already been consolidating for the longest time. So that's uh, where we are with the uh, tether. Okay, let's go over to XRP, another cryptocurrency. As in the case of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, we have these two candles uh, introducing the breach to the Bollinger Bands. This is a bearish situation. Afterwards, the new green candle, bullish candle, coming in. And then the, the run up is on a bullish trend. But now we have touched briefly the upper band of the Bollinger in this case. And so the next move will be downwards. But yes, we're still neutral in this sense. The last um, crossover for MACD happened about seven hours ago in the case of the others. It's a bullish crossover. But we're still in the negative region, so we're still bearish long term. But here, on a different note, we have the buyers outnumbering the sellers, 41 to 27 or something. And uh, the trend line is at 28. So this is really a trend 
it's not uh, uh, a ranging position now you can see that this is not a consolidation we are on an upward trend and then we have two red candles already uh, signifying that the next the next prices will be downward in motion yes so we have in the long longer longer term we have the 200 day average at 2.24 we have the 75 day average above it but we still have the 50 day average below the 75 days so this is not 50 days so but 50 hour average so 75 hour average is above the 50 and the 50 is above the 200 and the price is above the 75 days so what does it mean we have an intermediate already an intermediate run uh, which is bullish but then and also long term is bullish but then the short term we are not yet sure yeah so less than 50 days still below so it has to go up the 50 days should go up uh, and beyond the 75 uh, in order for it to be really bullish so what will happen in the next couple of hours it will, it will lose some steam and the price will uh, the probability will be that the price will go down from this high. but since the lower band of the Voyager is at 0.242 so the trading option will be just from 24.86 to 24.20 or about 0.06 over 0.24 yes so just a small range short range of prices let's go now to bitcoin cash all right so here we are with bitcoin cash look at the massive bullish candle which happened 24 25 hours ago from 2019 it went it shot up to 227 this if you bought somewhere here then that would have been you know life-changing for you but then afterwards since it already went past the upper band of the Bollinger of course the next run will be bearish in nature so it went down definitely this is a price breakout and the breakout was upwards but then the next couple of hours will be downwards in nature it didn't go near the lower band of the Bollinger but then it went sideways and now we are into some price consolidation and the consolidation would be between 218 to 220 so that's the price range uh, neutral position still in RSI we are still in the bearish region though for for the uh, MACD the class crossover happening the major uh, crossover happening about 24 hours ago and it's a bearish crossover happening somewhere here okay we still have the buy the sellers outnumbering the buyers 30 to 25 but expectedly price the, the range the the trend line is at 17 so this is not on, uh, a trend this is a ranging position so what will happen here is that there will be further consolidation of prices the price move will be either way it can go upwards or downwards but then since it is in a ranging position it doesn't matter because the the prices will just range from 218 to 220 so that's about two out of 220 so that's only one percent so, you know uh, it's not really that much yeah so that's for the currencies so now we go to the uh, currency pairs the euro usd interval three hours all right so this uh, then we will we see some breach uh, breach from the uh, the bollinger as in the case of the bitcoin uh, somewhere here one two three about 22 hours ago and afterwards we remained there for about three hours then the doji showed and then the run up now happens uh, upward uh, but right now after briefly touching the upper band of the border it has not reached the upper band it was followed by a red um, a candle about three hours ago one to three and then the next couple of, of candles is uncertain all right so we're not clear about this long term the long term is at 1.1724 1.1759 for the 
intermediate term but the short term is below so long term uh, uh, the short term is below the intermediate term so it's not yet uh, confirmed bullish run we have we are at uh, 55 rsi so neutral if you look at the macd this is where the last crossover happened and it's a bullish crossover uh, we have the MACD above the signal line and the MACD is already positive however the signal line is still below so we are not yet that sure if you look at the ADX we have the buyers abnormal sellers again pointing towards the bullishness and we have 24 so that's uh, more or less a trend a strong trend happening so we are just sure because the candle now is this hour opens close we're not yet sure 1.1773 um if you look at this trend this is since this is bullish um it points only to the run up being still unfinished and we still uh, can expect that it's still moving up so we are in the middle of a run up uh, so bets are now uh, with a furthering of this run up because we have not yet reached it's not over but yet we have a strong trend line the buyers outnumber the sellers um, so this may be a false uh, sell short signal so but that is not really clear so we are still in a phase where the market is unsure where to go but uh, indicators would show that it's moving up rather than down yeah so that's all that we can say with euro usd let's go to gbp usd all right for gbp usd we have 20 hours ago this breach happened so we have the bearish breach happening in the bollinger band uh, and so the next candle is green and that is the beginning of a well a run up although the run up um, went from one point back to 877 to where we where it is right now so still it's really a sideways move rather than a, uh, so um, RSI is neutral we have the last crossover happening and it's a bullish crossover about four hours ago uh, but it's very it's really minor and we're still in the bearish region though with the long term above the mid intermediate term and the short term for adx we have the sellers outnumbering the buyers so still point towards bearishness with a trend that is strong so all indicators point towards weakness in this case so we expect that this weakness will still proceed and uh, uh, even if it goes above uh, this is not really as I said an upward trend but a sideways, sideways move and so the upper band of the Bollinger would, would just go down some more so this is really uh, pointing towards a bearishness rather than bullishness at least in the next couple of hours okay how about the Japanese yen all right after an eternity <laughs> i've seen this so we are in in for, for usd japanese yen we are in an upward uh well, bullish breakout happening some, somewhere here uh, 7 a.m one two three four eight nine hours ago a bullish run coming from but this is this goes back to 8 p.m october 6 plus another 10 hours after a long consolidation phase and it has begun its upward trend now the breach to the upper band of the bollinger happened for four hours afterwards there's a bearish uh, candle here after this semi you know, doji like candle after the breach of the three candles somewhere in eight seven eight and nine a.m then the tendency the the next run was now bearish in nature 
but if you look at the Bollinger, it's still in a breakout phase. So you can say that this is a, uh, not yet a failure of the bullish run, but uh, let's look at the other indicators. We are at 64, uh, 66 uh, neutral in RSI. Um, yes, uh, still bullish, still bullish in the long run for MACD. Uh, it is confirmed with the averages of the long term above the intermediate term and the short term is somewhere here. Now for ADX, we have a very strong trend, a strong trend at 25. The buyers still outnumber the sellers even to 12. Um, MACD is positive, uh, bullish, so we're still bullish here. So what would happen here is that uh, this weakness will be resolved. And what would happen is in the next about five, six, seven hours, it will go into some price consolidation. So we still expect that there will be a weakness in the next couple of hours. Not, not, not maybe the next couple of hours, but about five, six, seven hours. Now the decision of the market would, would be determined by the candles that happened because one hour ago the candle was red and it was an uncertain candle almost dozy a dozy candle at about 3 p.m. so we are at 3.32 already half past the third hour p.m. and we're still uncertain about the next candle it has not moved up nor down so it remained at 105.9940 yeah now at 105.998 okay so we can we can see some movement of the japanese yen so we're not yet sure about what will happen but uh, all indicators point towards remaining in the bullish uh, region for some time but of course you have to watch out for some crossovers towards the bearish side okay that's it a longer video for dream channel tv uh, we have reviewed uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the others, uh, uh, all the other uh, cryptocurrencies that we have here: uh, Ethereum, USDT, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, and then we went through uh, USD, Euro, uh, GBP, and now Japanese Yen. All right. So I hope that you learned something. Uh, if not, just review it. Again, so this is really um, some trading options for the currency pairs and uh, cryptocurrencies. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. This has been George of Green Shadow. Bye.